Cool. So let's make a completely new conveyor belt thingy. That's quite long. That's probably too long. So um, we want it to be as long as the conveyor belt actually goes for. So let's put that so it's as far to the left as we can go. And then we'll skip, uh, stretch this out again. So let's have a uh, chip and we'll make a um, where is it? Yeah, a keyframe. So now this keyframe will move the whole thing to the right. Do want it to poke out the end though? Like that. Um, and turn that off. So if we put that in a timeline and we have um, an empty keyframe and we just blend those two, then this will be at the original position. This will be at the keyframe position. Like that. Uh, oh, and make it loop, of course. Oh, and it's working just like a conveyor belt. Um, because while it's uh, resetting, it's not actually affecting the uh, physics and stuff. So if we added uh, some paint to it, you can see that it's like moving a bit and then resetting and things like that. Um, now, if we use the uh, grid, first let's figure out how far it's moving. So let's um, make the grid bigger and oh, move it one, two, three, no, just two. And we'll just move that across a little bit. Um, cool, so see how that animates. That was fine. So it moved two not uh two notches to the right, I think. So let's put in a pattern over here that is repeating every two notches. So put one there. Let's see if that works. Kind of. So we need one two notches over here. And now it looks exactly like there's a tiny little bit of a skip there, but um, it looks something like it's just uh, feeding out of here and going into there infinitely. Um, <clears throat> the uh, other way would be to, let's just like tint that like that. The other way would be to use something else like um, a separate visual only animation on top of it to make it appear like um, it's moving that direction uh, something like that and have some like animation low flex density that um, or use any of the other techniques to animate um, actual pieces to make it look right. Um, so that's another method. I'd like to thank the common people, Kolbitzer, DeadMC, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.